18. Awesome to see you again. Today, I'm teaching you how to use a walking stick um, for, for a weapon, right? This is a simple walking stick. There's no embellishments like blades or anything. Simple walking stick. So it's really practical to have in your home it, or, or in your car if you need a weapon, you know, in, in a situation, in a, in a high level situation. So this is particularly handy, right, when your opponent's got a knife, for example, right? Brendan is pretending to be a bad guy with a knife and Josh has got a bat, right? So with the knife, he's got the cold steel, so it's gonna cut me if I don't get it right. I've got the reach, so if I can have all the martial arts principles, distance, angles, timing, power, speed, I should be able to use this against the knife and be able to get come out on top, right? Give you a few examples out of many, many I can give you. So one, if I'm here and I'm squaring up, I'm using my uh, stick as a little bit of an extension of my body. If he lunges, I can get out the way, hit that, turn the grip, hit him in the neck and pull him down and then bang, there he is there, right? So that's in slow motion is, it could be if Brendan picks up the nut, obviously Brendan's got padding, so I, I, I'm quite careful where I hit that, otherwise there's uh, timber on bone, it does hit. Then I've done some footwork, cut an angle, changed my grip, hit him on the throat, tilt that one up, he's down, then boom, rake, rake the eye out over this way, right? So, so that could be a possibility. Out of many scenarios, because the guy's gonna stab you in many, many ways, so you've gotta be able to deal with any angle that he comes at you with and any arc he comes at you with. Thanks guys, so walking stick, we'll do some more if you, if you like it. Thanks very much.